Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in again to another Girl with the Dogs long form grooming video. This is Teddy. Teddy is, we don't know, he is everything. Um, he is a rescue from Kazakhstan. I will tell you a little bit more about that story as we groom him. Um, but he is definitely a mutt of several different breeds. Something really funny about Teddy is when he was a puppy, he looked identical to a Rottweiler puppy. So think about a Rottweiler puppy and then this is what he turned into. So the owners had no idea that their dog was going to look like this. We are going to transform him because he has not been groomed in a very long time and he is going to get a total makeover today. Teddy is a really good dog for grooming, but he has some very interesting quirks that I will talk to you about during his groom. Okay, buddy, let's go for a bath, you stink. Okay, so Teddy does shed, so I'm going to bathe him in Girl with the Dogs de-shedding shampoo. It's okay, buddy, stink. Why do you guys have to hang? Oh, nice bubble. Hang your heads over the bathtub, always. Hmm? So Teddy is a rescue from Kazakhstan. Those who have watched my other channel, you know that I went to Kazakhstan to be a courier for a bunch of rescue dogs and cats. Um, I, Teddy was not a part of that mission. He came before I went. His litter actually is what inspired me to go. So something funny about Teddy is that some of his siblings look just like him and some of his siblings look absolutely nothing like him. I groom one of his siblings. It looks like an entirely different breed of dog. Something I didn't know at the time was that a female dog can get impregnated by several different males. So I guess because they release so many eggs, if they are tying with several different males, they can actually get pregnant. They can actually get pregnant with different males' um, sperm. So some of his siblings are actually only his half-siblings, which I thought was really interesting. I didn't even know that that was a thing until Teddy. So Teddy actually lived with his first owners for a few years. I didn't start grooming him until he was an adult. Teddy has extreme anxiety to the point where he is medicated with anti-anxiety medication every single day. He specifically has trouble with fireworks and thunderstorms, but his reaction to it, his reaction to thunderstorms and fireworks is not that of the average dog. He will become extremely destructive and he will actually climb his humans and try to get on top of their heads. It's, he panics far beyond what any normal dog would do when they panic over storms. So loud noises really stress him out. But what's funny is that he is not stressed out by loud noises in the grooming salon. Now he was when I first groomed him, he was very scared, but after grooming him a few times, he became very much used to it 
and I can blow dry him with the high velocity dryer and he doesn't even care, which shocks his owners. His owners can't believe that he's that good. The only thing that he is not good for is having his nails clipped, but otherwise he is really good. I was not kidding when I said that Teddy doesn't shed very much. I've never seen him shed like this before ever in all the years I've been grooming him. So I think the de-shedding shampoo really helped to lift his undercoat today because I am covered. And of course I'm not wearing my eye protection because I didn't think I needed it. And I am completely covered in hair. There's so much hair in my eyes right now. I don't even know what to do with myself. So the owners want him to be short. So I am going to try shaving him first in my 3-8 long blade comb attachment. I'm gonna see how that works on him. If I don't like it, I'm gonna change to a metal blade. I'm shaving in reverse because of the kind of hair that he has. It really does not look good if you go with the grain. So I'm going against the grain. Okay, so I'm going to take a three and three quarter to the top of his head and his chin. I'm also going to shave his ears. He just has a little bit of matting that I'm just going to shave out here with a 10. Okay, so he has some matting here that I'm going to try to go through right now with a three and three quarter. So Teddy was really difficult the first time I groomed him, I remember. And then he just progressively got better. And now he's really good. Okay, you're gonna be good for this. It's okay. I know you hate it. But if you're mean, I'm going to muzzle you. Good boy. Good boy, it's okay. Good boy. Good boy.
for my chunkers. I'm just going to try to blend it in. Okay, so I am going to do his face and then I will finish off his legs, his nails and his paws at the end because he doesn't like that being done. So I'd like to just get the face done and over with because he's gonna be wearing a muzzle and he's probably gonna drool and then it's going to make it difficult for me to do his face if I were to do it after. Okay, thinning shears to the visor. Okay, I'm gonna tidy up his lip hairs with my straight shears. You can also use clippers for this. And I'm going to trim his beard. Okay, so something I like to do is lift up these lip hairs and just get all that gross brown hair out of there. Good boy. Okay, and then using my thinning shears, I'm going to blend this in. chunkers a little bit because it gets more hair at one time and then I'll go back over it with my knitting shears. Okay so now I am going to do his nails and his paws. So I do have to use restraints for this because he is not friendly for this. Okay so I'm going to put him on the groomer's helper first. So the groomer's helper essentially, oh, it needs to stay there. No, it doesn't. the groomer's helper essentially just prevents him from spinning. And we leave it over here and it tends to get covered in dog dander when we blow dry. He knows what this is and he's not happy about it. Sorry buddy, but you bite me and your nails are extremely long. So I'm also going to put him in a belly band so that he can't spin. I don't have to muzzle him for the back ones, but I do have to muzzle him for the front ones because he can get me. These back ones actually 
back ones aren't too bad. It's the front ones that are really long. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, it's okay. So when a dog walks, sometimes they push with their back paws and that actually causes their back nails to be short. And so sometimes they only need their front nails trimmed. So that's kind of like what he's got going on here. So I'm gonna have to muzzle you for this one because I know that you're gonna bite me for this one for sure. I'm sorry. I know. Ah, 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 ah. Teddy, these are really long, I'm sorry, but they have to be clipped. No. It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna spray him in blueberry bubblegum cologne. And he is all finished. Teddy, you wanna go for a car ride? We'll go for a car ride, you wanna go home? We'll go for a walk? <laughs> he cannot go outside and play right now because it is pouring rain in my backyard. So unfortunately, we won't get any finished shots of him in the yard. If you guys ever realize that a dog doesn't have a finished shot in the yard, it's probably because the weather is bad or the backyard is muddy. But if you can see his front legs, they're very wonky, and I'm assuming that that's the reason why he doesn't like having them touched. Okay, Teddy, you're gonna go home. Yeah, you're gonna go home. Good boy, good boy. Thank you guys for tuning in. I see a few mistakes that I'm probably gonna fix before he leaves, um, but we will see you next week. All right, say bye, Teddy.